Although in today's market it seems to happen, selling your home doesn't necessarily happen overnight. In fact, there are three phases to the process that are essential for a successful sale. Join me as I provide you with a collection of tips in each phase to move your home from for sale to sold. Hi, I'm Chris Delano with the Old Mill Group Real Estate, a local real estate agency here in the Raleigh and Durham and surrounding areas. Most home sellers dream of a stress-free sale in which they simply list their house and quickly find a qualified buyer, collect the cash, and hand over the keys. If only it were that simple. In reality, selling a home involves many moving parts, some that you can control and some that you cannot. Step one, the preparation phase. Know your market value. Visit open houses and compare sales prices. Better yet, ask a real estate professional, like us, for a comparative market analysis for your home. Here's what you can gain. A list of upgrades to help your home keep up with others on the market a strategy for featuring details that already make your home stand out, and a better perspective on your home's current market value and how that fits in with your finances and what you want to achieve. Invest in an inspection. While buyers paying inflated sales prices, they're becoming more aware of the conditions of the homes that they're considering, catching problem areas that a shiny exterior is hiding before potential buyers do is starting to become a smart idea. An early inspection equals more time to fix those repairs and ultimately provides insight into your home's top needs. A house with less issues will sell a lot faster. This doesn't mean it needs to be perfect, but make sure everything is up to code. Hiring an inspector will assist in getting an accurate value of the home and leaves less room for potential buyers to try to negotiate repairs or to get you to lower your asking since your home will already be in tip-top shape and correctly priced. Work with your real estate agent on the inspection process. We have thorough knowledge on how to get items taken care of efficiently. Once this is completed, you can at least feel confident knowing your real estate agent can get a better handle on how to sell the house in its inspected condition. Prioritize improvements. As you review the inspection report, Prioritize with the must-haves that solve problems. Typically, there will be issues or improvements that need to be made immediately. Cosmetic improvements are good for staging, but buyers need peace of mind that the improvements will affect them in the long run. Significant structural improvements or remodeling projects should be disclosed and permitted. Let me repeat that, and permitted. Oh yeah, don't forget your permits. Your real estate agent can create a handout or flyer that will make the list more eye-catching. Your real estate agent will know how to do this well. Do your homework before hiring. Don't rush right out and hire a contractor and start purchasing a bunch of materials. Obtain at least three quotes and always ask for references. Depending on the improvements to be made, it's not wise to offer buyer credits against the purchase price. You are oftentimes better off investing the funds needed to get the work done before it goes to market. Step two is the listing phase. Plan your pricing strategy. Starting the pricing conversation early is essential and reviewing the details just prior to listing is a good idea as well, just to make sure nothing's changed since the last time the conversation was had. Real estate agents are prepared to make good judgments about the market value. So trust that they have your best interests in mind when discussing pricing options with you. We utilize a few tools to get accurate values. If you think the results are too high or too low, let your agent know, and I know they'd be happy to review it further with you. Set the stage. Staging is very different from decorating. Decorating is actually derived from your personal tastes and what makes your home your own. Staging gives it a wide-ranging appeal so that potential buyers can see it as their own, not still yours. Important staging priorities include doing a thorough deep cleaning. 
removing personal and trendy or eccentric decor, and of course, decluttering. Take high quality photos. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, when you're selling your home, a picture is worth a showing that gets scheduled. High quality professional photography is a must in this era of the online search. Today's buyers are very connected and informed. Nine in 10 home buyers today rely on the internet for their home search. So there's a high volume of first impressions that are from a digital screen of some sort. You've put a lot of work and possibly invested some money during the preparation phase. So it's only fitting to have your home showcased with high resolution professional photos that are optimized for web and mobile devices. A professional will also consider the lighting, angles, and the best spots in each room. Be sure to ask your full service real estate agent if they'll be providing professional photography. Do not let them shortchange you with selfie-like dim crooked pictures from their cell phone. While you're at it, ask your agent if they ensure that all of the listing details are provided in their data listing. Buyers should have each room's measurements and other details at their fingertips. Be sure your agent will provide a complete and detailed listing rather than a bare bones basic description. The showing phase. Be flexible with the showing schedule. If you're living in your home while it is on the market, it will pay to be flexible and make your home available to appeal to as many buyers as possible. Setting specific or limited showing days and hours is possible when you put your home on the market. However, it is in your best interest to maximize the time available to allow potential buyers to conduct a property exam. Talk to your realtor about any concerns you have if you're still living in your house while you're selling. He or she is there to assist you in selling your home and can provide advice that considers the overall results that you're looking for. Keep up the curb appeal. Be prepared for eager buyers driving by your home as soon as the sign's in the yard and the marketing's begun. Maintaining the curb appeal throughout the marketing period is definitely crucial. You don't want them driving by and getting turned off and not even setting up an appointment to come see it. Pay attention to the smells. A sense of smell can influence a home buyer when it comes to spending time in your home space. It's time for sellers to be honest with themselves about any odor that they may have lingering around. Bring in a trusted friend or ask your agent if they can identify any not so pleasant odors as sometimes homeowners become oblivious to these scents because they're living there every day. When it comes to offending smells, pet odors are oftentimes the number one challenge. But beware of food smells and scents that are musty or allergenic too. Refrain from using any scented candles, melted waxes, wall plug-ins, or those scent diffusers that send overpowering fragrances into the home. These only work to mask the odor and the buyers tend to question if the seller has something to hide that might be moldy like ductwork or the filters, for instance. Find the source of the odor and eliminate it with a deep clean and fresh air. Be mindful of the flow. Your agent will do a walkthrough of your home. They'll be able to identify unusual flow patterns from one room to the next and may assist you to group your furniture into arrangements that inspire people to congregate and, and converse about the home. When you're ready to dive into the first step of getting your home from for sale to sold, be sure to download our home sellers checklist to help identify the areas of your home that may need to be prepared for the sale. To learn more about selling your home, check out the next video. Click the subscribe button so you'll be notified as we post additional shows. Thanks for watching.